for young professionals, for business houses, and also for students. But before beginning today's episode, let me first thank you all my dear audiences for responding so well to our last uh, uh, video on human careers. You people have given such positive responses which have actually boosted our morale to work more even in our vision to educate and empower people from Assam and Northeast so that they can have a better and brighter future. So thank you all and please keep supporting us. And one more thing before continuing this show i must remind you to don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share our videos okay so uh let me ask you are you all excited about today's episode so if not then don't worry because i'm here to make this episode exciting for you so what i'm going to do is i am going to induct you in a 10 minute uh, self determination test to see if you all are fitting in your current job or not. But before that, let me show you some slides. Uh, the slides will be specifically coming simultaneously with me because you also need to understand me, but you also need to see what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So as you can see, the title is join the elite and uh, you can have you can get certified with Google and you can propel your career. So why I have kept this title is because there are a lot of people who know that there are a lot of Google certifications, but they do not understand the necessity of upskilling in their life because Google certifications will give you a lot of skill in your life. So that is the reason why I am trying to bring in a self-determination test, which will help you evaluate your life choices. So moving on the slide, you will see uh, beginning where the term is written in the next slide as you can see uh, I'm a little bit sorry because of some of the technical issue but okay now see let's begin okay so are you all excited so if you're not excited still I'm reminding you that okay I'll make this exciting for you so what you have to do is there will be a set of five questions and all these five questions you have to answer according to your understanding and what you have to do is you have to rate it according from zero to ten okay so i'm expecting at least 100 participants including me so that makes it 99 of you okay so ready so the first question you can see in the slide which is given who are you right now okay this question is a bit uh, tricky but okay who are you right now so my name is let me start my name is Shaina and I'm 28 years old and recently after pandemic I have shifted from offline teaching to online teaching. So I teach political science and sociology but that sounds easy right but actually no because I have to deal with a lot of things apart from teaching like I have to engage myself in better communication, I have to understand about script writing, I have to understand a little bit about editing, a little bit about storytelling because when I'm teaching kids I don't want to bore them out so in, in fact in teaching also you will require a lot of skills so that's why I feel currently I am a multitasker. So rating myself, I would say I'm five out of 10 because I still have a lot more way to go. Okay, so now moving on to the next slide, what is given, how much control do you feel you have in your day? Okay, how much control do I feel I have in my day? So out of 10, I would say I have seven. Why I have seven? Because after my job is done in the workplace, I go home, I watch some movies and Netflix, and then I cook some delicious meal for myself, whatever I want. And then definitely one of my favorite thing I do is sleep. Okay, because sleep is very important. But there may be a lot of you who are confused right now regarding your workplace you don't know whether your work is suited into your life or not you are pretty much confused let me clear this confusion for you so if you are in this safe state of confusion i bet you have an embarrassing amount of leftovers left in your fridge so next time you think about your career choice next time you think you have a confusion just go to your house open your fridge and see if you have any leftovers and if you have a, a, any sort of leftovers that means you need to analyze 
your current position you need to analyze your choices in your life okay now moving on the slide says how prepared do you feel for your responsibility the question number three okay how prepared do i feel for my responsibility so i currently host this show but if you look very closely but you'll see that i'm not very good in doing makeups i mean horrible in doing makeups but come on yeah give me a break i never thought that i would come in youtube i never thought i would be available in public platforms and i was not at all prepared for this i never thought that i will be coming in front of the camera in fact a few years back i couldn't even pick my phone and you know pick a selfie out of it and make reels out of it so i never uh, was in that sort of any so, uh, i was not in that sort of mood anyways but now you see i have to be in front of camera i have to be presentable and then i have to appear in public platform so for me i would say as part of the responsibility earlier it was 2 out of 10 but now i would say it's 6 out of 10 because over the time i have learned how much uh, skills i need to present myself in front of the camera okay now question number 4 says how much community do you feel with your coworkers that's very easy peasy i definitely feel 10 on 10 it's not because my coworkers are watching me or anything but definitely i feel like they are one of a kind they are all very cooperative and they all have their responsibilities they are all doing it very well and everybody of us are very very in a very friendly environment because this environment is providing us a lot of things to work on okay so i don't know how much you have scored but i've scored 10 on 10 okay thanks to my mates okay next is how much do you look forward to working here okay that's a bit tough questions might be for a lot of people but not for me it's a very easy peasy for me because i love my job and i also love my life so if my job is allowing me to love my life that means i am currently in the best position i could ever be so for that i would give 9 out of 10 but i don't know what is your score okay now let's look at the score what is your score so out of 50 since i have told you to rate it from 0 to 10 uh my score would be around like 35 or 37 but okay if you have scored less than 25 that means there's something fundamentally wrong in the work that you are doing okay so you need to understand that you at least have to score more than 30 so that you can understand that okay wherever you are positioned in you are in the right place so you can calculate your score and you can comment down below how much score you have scored okay okay now let's look at the next slide what the next slide is saying okay now why work has to fit into your life this is a basic question where everybody ask everybody in all the videos in everywhere you go every motivation speaker will ask you why work has to fit into your life so let me also give you a little bit of statistics in order to explain it to you why it has to be because there was a survey which was conducted in USA by collecting a lot of questionnaires from the employees and from that questionnaire this average what the finding is that each of us at least spend 6 and a half hours of working okay 6 and a half hours of working and 10 hours just managing to keep ourselves alive let's say all of us will have lot of existential crisis pondering on lot of thoughts what to do what not to do am i doing everything right in my life and listening to lot of motivation speakers okay so all those things comes under that 10 hours and then we'll have 3 and a half hours probably for personal errands personal errands as in you are going for a grocery shopping you're buying yourself some good products you're buying yourself food you're going and filling up the your uh, your car petrol and everything so those 3 hours are totally dedicated for that and and most importantly you only have 4 hours on everything everything as in like watching tv then going out with friends learning new skills you just don't have anything apart from that so you see just 4 hours of your life it's just 4 hours daily you only have so uh, to learn new skill in your life okay so that is why a lot of people are not able to upskill themselves because they don't have enough time so as uh, in the next slide which you will see you see that uh the next slide which will come you can see what is the problem in shifting your jobs which is uh you know 
uh, the question is asking that uh, are you looking for a new job okay the question here why i have put this question there is you see if your score is below 25 i assuming that you know that you are not fitting in this current job right now it is not helping you grow you're finding it very difficult to maintain between your life and also between your work so if your score is below 25 please 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 have a different perspective in your life okay so next we go to the slide which the slide is addressing about what is a problem in shifting your jobs that give you a better lifestyle environment what is the problem if you are not liking your job if your score is below 25 if you are not getting en if you are not getting enough sleep then why not go and change it well it's not very easy not very easy for everybody why it is not because after pandemic you see there are lot of slats uh, slash uh, salaries you know then people getting exhausted because of overtime overwork and in india alone at least 40% of employees have resigned from their jobs why because they are not able to maintain a standard they are not able to maintain a cooperation between life and between work and in india itself at least 61% of people have agreed to salary cuts and they have agreed to work from home okay they are saying i am going to work from home i don't need extra salary because what is important for them has become is a very very good sleep cycle okay if you are also one of them then most most of probably i'm assuming you are looking for a different job now the problem in shifting the job is that the companies that you are going and looking for job are very very much uh, finding you know uh, people they are wanting people to have a very exclusive set of skills now in the previous slides i have already told you that how much hours of time you have each day you just have 4 hours so in the 4 hours how are you going to learn at least new skill but every company is offering is asking for a different or very exclusive set of skills which you need to have and the problem is at in attaining those skills you don't have enough time and uh, an average person will need at least approximately 10000 hours to up upskill themselves come on man i'm not kidding 10000 hours is it really possible for a person like having de just uh, dedicate 10000 hours of his life just to upskill itself how is that even possible okay so now this is the basically the problem which is going on why people are not able to shift their jobs now if you can see in the next slide which is given what is the scenario with business houses and students now the scenario with business houses and students is not different because a lot of student they feel that their degree or their their particular set of a discipline is not ready for them to be placed in a in a different workforce because only 39% of college students feel that they are very much prepared for the workforce so you see whatever the degree they are doing whatever the degree they are learning they are not very confident if i go out with this degree whether i'll get this job or not so there are a lot of confusion going on but the best part is there are a lot of students who have time but the sad part is they do not know what skills to practice they do not understand what the degree i am pursuing and what kind of skills i will need to attain and then the business houses also a similar condition is happening with them at least you can see 49% of small businesses still do not know uh, that the necessary information and skills needed to use some of the digital tools there are lot of companies who are finding problems it is not because the employees do not know it is because the employees also do have a lot of confusion regarding which skill to upgrade or which skill will be needed for example let me see okay if you are a graduate in sociology okay but you have an interest in in uh, video editing let's say and you go and apply for a job as a video editor right now you have at least spend 1000 hours or let's say 10000 hours just to learn video editing and then you have gone and applied in a company but once you have started participating in that workforce you later come to realize that okay only video editing is not enough what you need to understand is what is the 
lighting system you need to know you need to understand about color gradient you need to understand about positioning of the camera there are a lot of other things which are also required if you want to become a very very good video editor so this is the problem that is go that is going on the 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 workforce the employees they are actually trying to upskill themselves but they are not understanding which skill or which set of skills is actually going to help us upgrade even more okay so this is the problem which is going on now this is where bps comes in this is where brahmaputra professional studies come in because even though in the first slide itself i have told you that here i have come to discuss about google certifications even though you'll find a lot of google certifications but i am pretty sure at least 40% of you will not know which course to take what course will accommodate the best choice in your life okay now how google certifications can solve all your problems very very basic question right everybody of you must be thinking that how google certifications can solve all your problems but before before explaining this point let me remind you all that we have prepared an uh, ebook which will help you uh, to understand all the different kind of courses which are available from google certifications that you can avail okay but to avail that what you have to do is you have to see in the youtube description below and you will find the link all you need to do is you have to click that link fill up the form it is free don't worry and once we get in touch with you we will be providing you that booklet and also all the updates which are required for you in your career you will get all the updates okay so it's very very important for you to do that so kindly don't waste time before based uh, you know before asking me whether what are the courses that i'm going to explain before this please go down below see in the description and click on the link okay now how google certifications can solve your problems let's see what you can do is you can play some noob games okay google certifications it will help you play some noob games what do you mean by noob noob games noob games means very small number of you know very very small gains as i have told you if you want to go and upskill yourself you will you will require at least 10000 hours now you don't have to de devote that much amount of time what you need to do is just spend at least 1 hour of your daily and just learn some of the google skills which is offered by those certifications so these are some of the pretty little noob gains that you can get so this is very very good for you and also for those students okay the students who do not have enough money i know that you know student life is hard you don't have money to sponsor yourself so don't worry all these certifications are free so kindly you can go and avail them and also for companies as well for small businesses as well if you feel that there is a disconnection going on between the employer and the employee the employer is not able to understand the employee's work or the employee is not able to understand the requirements of the job then maybe through google certifications the small businesses can also avail and they can also grow okay so it is good and good good for everybody now as you can see google has a uh, what are google certifications this is very important for you to understand what are google certifications see google offers a lot of certificates in different kind of skills upgradation but some of them are paid and some of them are free so google at least offers more than i can say 1000 courses but it is not possible for us to at least explain all the 1000 courses in just one video okay it will take a lot of time lot of effort and as i mentioned earlier also we are trying to provide you a lot of quality material so we don't want to make this entire show very tedious by lecturing you 3 4 hours on google certifications we want to devote an entire series to it so that you can learn what kind of certificates you can avail from this particular system or from that particular system not only google we will be devoting another few sessions from amazon certifications also this, this is going to help boost your boost your career but for that we need to connect with you we need to understand your requirements so that is why it is necessary for you to go and uh, the link is given in the description and you need to click on that link so that we can reach you as soon as possible okay you'd get all the notifications and updates there 
now talking about google certifications as i have told you there are some paid versions which you can avail from coursera or from udacity but also there are other free courses which you can avail from google digital garage and grow with google okay so uh, these are the platforms where you can avail a lot of free certificates now talking about google digital garage the garage itself will give you at least more than i can say 160 online courses on different topics it will have at least 26 modules with their own set of videos and with own set of own set of uh, quizzes so what you can do is you can uh, you can induct yourself and even though you do not know anything about uh, let's say about uh, digital marketing still you can avail that course because it will help you learn from the beginner to an expert level so that is a very advantageous thing okay you you do, you do not need to have a separate degree course in in digital marketing in order to avail these courses right so don't waste time and just uh, before going to Google certifications, listen to us and then go and join the perfect course, which is which is required for you. Now, talking about Google Digital Garages, all the other ecosystems that it has, okay, because the entire Google system, it works on a different set of ecosystems. So the first thing that we are going to see here is a Google Skill Shop. So what is Google Skill Shop offering? Google Skill Shop is offering under digital uh, under Google Digital Garage. Google Skill Shop is providing you some free training programs. You can see a large number of uh, Google services. For example, you can say Google Ads. You can say Google Marketing. You can say Go uh, Google My Business. You can say YouTube as well. So if you want to develop a career in uh, digital marketing, I think th this is the best platform for you. So this entire platform will offer you at least let say 20 or 80 online courses all free cert all free certifications of course after completion and once you complete your uh, your entire course you can share this you can upload this in your profile and share this to any company through your linkedin profile okay and some courses where you can avail is google ad search certifications google will uh, you know what it, it will do is it will re it will uh, recognize you as an expert in some of the online advertising okay so since online advertising since we we are going everything online so this is the future that you have so why not invest your time and money in the future right so i would better i would better suggest you to go to this but yes there is a lot of different different courses which are available inside the google skill shop itself so you need to have a better understanding of each and every course. And as I told you, we cannot devote to uh, explain each and every course in just one video. So what we have done is we have we we will be creating a lot of smaller, smaller videos where we'll be explaining to you in detail about every type of courses according to your prep according to your preferences according to the degree you have or according to the type of job that you are see that you are seeking for so that you do not waste your time or so that you do not waste your money in just upskilling yourself in a thing which you don't even like it okay okay next we can see that uh, next is you will see after skill shop you see some uh, quick lab quest you can see Okay, quick lab uh, guest, you can see is that the quick labs is basically all site of, uh, you can say it's a startup which was founded by Google very early on. So what they are doing is they are, pro they are providing you a lot of credits. They are providing you a lot of labs also. Labs as in, for example, you can say labs as in uh, if you have ever taken chemistry in your class 12 you would say that there are a lot of experiments which is going on okay you need to see which gas when combined with a different gas what it will uh, result in so likewise what quick lab is doing is it is providing you in hand experience in a lot of cloud based facilities that is it is providing a real cloud environment where you can get some of the hands on experience so th this is why quick lab is very very special for you so there what you can do is you can avail a lot of uh, so you can avail a lot of uh, spending credits as well spending credits as in because it will be more like a university degree where you will give a well they will give you a certified well where, where they will be providing you a certified uh, credit let's say so there you can avail at least 200 such kind of a credit all those are free of cost okay so likewise you can get a university degree also from there now as talking about the quest itself so quest i have explained it's kind of a lab 
okay and quest means if you are hunting for a treasure let's say what do you do well you are hunting for a treasure you follow each and every step so likewise uh, quick lab quest is also in a lot of series which are invoke in a lot of lab testing environment where you get a real cloud environment and you get some of the hand on experience so some of the courses which you can avail here you can say google cloud essentials you can get application development you can say websites and web application so all those things you can avail from here okay talking about quick lab courses you can see there is a series of lessons you will get there is a series of quizzes there will be series of labs which you will be getting so upon completion of all these elements you will unlock a badge which will certify you that you have reached to an uh, advanced level let's say okay now here what is the selection of courses that you can get so selection of courses you will get is a digital you will get a lot of uh, digital transformation with google cloud you'll get uh, google cloud fundamentals you'll get some core infra uh, you'll get some core infrastructure in some of the google cloud fundamentals you can see some of the machine learning fundamentals now speaking about another platform which is called google developers program okay google developers uh, platform since uh the slides have been little uh, different so first the google developers pro, uh, program as you can see in the slides i'm trying to figure out the slides okay google developers platform this is the particular slide so uh, sorry there was a little bit of technical difficulty in uploading this okay fine so there's a lot of wealth of resources and pro for professional and, and aspiring developers. In particular, the platform has over, let's say, 1,000 online courses from beginner to an advanced level of learning. So this particular course is only dedicated for some of the Android development. If you have earlier experience, you have if you have done any courses on this, it's better for you if you take this course because here you will get some uh, some things to learn from pro from programming. You will get. Uh, things to learn from specific libraries or you will get a lot of software and services so you can also take some of the individual courses also but if you want to move from let's say from a uh, beginner level to a very advanced stage you may prefer some of the google's 130 learning pathway so here also you can take a sequence of some of the mini courses and culminate them into a quiz so there will be selection of a lot of courses uh, which you can take on the platform. Let's say you'll have built your first web app with Firebase, get started with a Google map platforms, you'll have built apps with Flutter. So I must say there are a lot of people who are not understanding what I'm trying to say right now, but you don't have to worry because as promised, we are again coming next week with a lot of extensive video which is de which is a dedicated to understanding of all these kind of things all these kind of courses so you you do not need to worry because this is just an introductory lesson for you okay so th this is why we are requesting you to kindly go down below in the in the de in the description and link and click on the link because it is very important for us to connect with you if you are not able to connect with you we will not be able to provide you with all these details so kindly do this okay and uh, since i have already talked about the quick labs so and the last that i am talking today right now is a google analytics academy or you can say uh, universal analytics platform so each course here, there is a series of videos and assessment. And after getting, you can say a score of 80% or higher, or in each assessment, you'll get some of the free certificates of completion. So this will appear in your profile. Okay. And likewise, like the other courses also, what you can do is you can update this in your profile and you can share this uh, profile through your LinkedIn. And, you, they, and there are also some of the free certificate courses where you, where you can avail here, like Google Analytics for beginners. You'll get uh, advanced Google and Analytics. You'll get Google Analytics for power users. So if you are not understanding these terms, so don't need to worry because as promised, again, I'm going to tell you, you do not need to worry about this because we are going to take good care of all these. Okay, what we are going to do in the upcoming few sessions, we will be totally dedicating the uh, for the understanding of each and every course so that what you can do is you can you can listen to us and you can see which course is best suited for you. Okay, we do not want you to spend money and time on a course. And then after that, you feel like, oh, I have just wasted my time in learning and I don't even enjoy this at all. 
just for the sake of upskilling don't go and learn any any skills so so before that you have to understand what are the requirements of this what uh, will you get after this so we will come with a detailed video we will we will we will actually discuss with you what are the courses you can avail what are the technicalities of the courses what are the difficulties of the courses what are the pros and cons what are the pros on it and how many how much salary you can expect if you have this kind of upskilling and which of the companies are looking for this kind of skills okay we'll come with a very very detailed video on this so that is why it is very important for all of us to get connected with you and again reminding the same thing don't forget to click on the link and again before winding up today's uh, sessions i hope uh, everything has been clear to you through this introductory part and uh, and again i'm i'm again requesting you if you do not if you think that you do not need any kind of skilling you can kindly forward this video and you can take that self determination test once again and you can put your score if your score is below 25 i am pretty sure you need to have a good career you need to have a different understanding of your career altogether okay so uh, see you all in the next session with the detailed explanation of all these courses so till then take care and and don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share because if you will not share our videos will not reach the wider audiences okay so see you all in the next abc sh uh, show till then take care all the best in your in your life and in your career enjoy your day thank you